Hello, Gamers in the Grip Port. On the last episode, I'll do a quick recap of what happened. Uh, we went from having no ME system and all of our stuff in chess to an ME system with all of our stuff inside the ME with the auto uh, auto crafting of the uh, of the processors, which makes the uh, storage drives. So this episode, I plan to do the Ender Quarry and auto processing, which will be implemented into the ME system. Uh, before we can start that, we're gonna go get some food from my farm underground uh, under this platform using the TF2 teleporter. And I'd like to make sure that you guys are aware that uh, this is a stream that I do every day uh, around uh, this time in the evening uh, EST, and it would be I guess either. Uh, well, yeah, 7 o'clock uh, EST, 7 p.m. EST, uh, or, or a little bit after that if I'm late, etc. And anyone from my YouTube channel, because I also put this up on my YouTube, don't have to exactly watch it. If, if you guys aren't into Minecraft, then just skip over these videos. But f this is for the people that can't catch the stream live, so I upload it to my YouTube. Um, I noticed there was a few unsubscriptions because I guess people thought I weren't gonna, wasn't going to do my, uh, League of Legends anymore, but that's not the, the fact. Instead, I'm still doing League of Legends, but I'm just uploading these extra Minecraft live streams that I do because uh, for the people that can't catch the stream live or, or not. Uh, I think it's the best of both worlds because obviously it's not a big deal. One video a day that you just ignore which isn't a big deal and you still get caught up on the nice league news because i don't want to stop making league videos uh you guys saw the five new skins today that went really well hey joey welcome back to the stream dude how are you doing lately man all right so auto processing um i guess i could first set up better like storage but I think I'm okay for now, actually. So auto processing would take like a bunch of seg mills and uh, alloy smel and, and alloy smelters. So I guess I'll first start with the seg mills. So just to make a point, I have no ores inside the system currently. But um, for this, I'm gonna need an ender chest. So I'm gonna make one with the oh, what the hell, blaze rods and an ender pearl. Oh yeah, I never moved any of my blaze rods or ender pearls into the system. So let's do that. Okay, so first I'm going to have to set it up so that anything that comes to the ender chest will go into the system. Ban the game report. No, please. No, please. No troll. Okay, so to do that, I need to put down an ender chest on the cable and have an import bus going into my system. So I'm just going to do it on this main first uh, channel. So I need export buses. Uh, import buses so let's first set that up i'm going to automate the production of export buses so for that um you'll have to have the x is that an export bus oh man I, I did the wrong one which is actually perfectly fine i'll do that one too so for that you need to automate all the stuff that goes into making an export bus so you need to do the export bus the formation core which i'd rather use uh, normal Sir Discords and a logic processor. So we'll have that. See, I can auto craft processors. We're basically going to automate like almost anything that I'm going to need to make a lot of to keep it real simple. So this is the formation core. So we'll put that inside there, and you also need to automate the production of pistons, even though I have them already. I could also make, uh, what wood do I have? Wood. I guess I could turn the rubber into the jungle wood, and use that as the wood that I'm going to use. So now I need another interface, because clearly I don't have enough space for more, for more stuff. Interface. So we're going to do this. I'm missing the annihilation cores. So we'll have that auto craft. And then I'll need to put that actually inside here first. Get it to make an annihilation core. And then we'll add that to the. Uh, to make the interface. 
Basically, each interface, I think, can hold, like, nine types or whatever. Nine recipes for auto-crafting. So that's how we're going to do this. See how there's all these slots where you put the patterns? And that's how that works. So now I can auto-craft interfaces along with the Annihilation Cores and the Export Bus. Now let's do the Import Bus. This is just so I never have to make them again. I'll just need to make sure I have the resources. Uh, so to make sticky pistons, you do that recipe. And then I'll auto-craft this. Now I can auto-craft uh, import buses and export buses and interfaces. So here we go. Uh, let's make the import bus. I can actually just make one because I already have it. All the stuff. We'll add this to the ender chest. And then we'll need acceleration cards. Acceleration cards increase the speed at which things get inputted into the system. For that, I'll need uh, to make one calculation processor, which I can auto-craft. So I just need to wait for that to craft. <laughs> so I'm also going to accelerate the uh, inscribers, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see. Okay, so this will make two advanced cards. I'm going to craft those. Put this into the interface as well. And then we need acceleration card. So kaboom, that's how you craft it. And then I'll take two, I'll put this in here, and I'll have it craft another uh, two. So you can see why auto crafting becomes really useful. Things that take multiple recipes to make, you can literally just type it in, have it auto craft, and then it's instantly done. And it'll tell you if you're missing anything as well. So that comes in handy. Ta-da! Easy peasy. So now my ender chest is set up. I can actually already go set up the um, another quarry. I can move the current quarry and then um, have that run while I'm making the ender quarry. Since I have more power than I'm using, I think I should go do that. Let me just make some landmarks again. I only have one. So redstone, get my redstone torches. I'll turn two of them into um, landmarks, and I'll go move that quarry. This should be a lot easier than before. Because it'll go straight into the system instead of needing to apply it to that uh, chest organization down there. Which I could actually probably uh, vein mine away. So we're going to go do that now. See, so yeah, I had this organization for all the stuff coming in from the quarry, but I don't need it anymore because, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. My vein miner is off. So to enable vein miner when you're sneaking, you need to type vein miner mode sneak, and then uh, it's good to go. There we go. Oh my god, that's the first time I picked up diamonds, supposedly, even though I've already gotten diamonds. So you see how it automatically gets inputted into my ME system? That ender chest goes into Emmy, so I can actually break this chest down, and I don't need it there anymore. And then I'll remove the transfer nodes, so it won't uh, randomly export stuff out of the ender chest into these. I'd rather go straight into the Emmy, all easily and stuff. Ta-da! Okay, and let's go move the damn quarry. King Slime? Uh, did he just jump off the damn island? Okay, let's move this. Because I finished two full quarries, regular quarries, 64 by 64s. So is he down here? I don't see him. But either way, this is where the last one finished, so I'm actually going to break this. He's drowning under there. This is where the new one's going to go, so that's the first one. Place the redstone torch so that I have the, uh, the lines to know where I need to build to. I'm just going to fly over and then pillar up with cobble. Keep it real simple. So yeah, that king slime is drowning, so I'm going to come back and go get those um, 
slime balls that he drops, and the salt lime weapon, the slime tinker tool. This is how you set up a quarry. So you have the main and landmark, and then you go out the gigant, however big you want it. it. It's a max of 64 by 64. So when you go down these lines, you come uh, and you you build up to that spot. They have to be at the same Y coordinate and along the same X or Z. And then you put down the landmark to complete it. <coughs> Once you have the landmarks down, all three landmarks, you come back to the main one where you're going to put the quarry and uh, you you just right click it, it completes this red square and then when you place the quarry it'll tell you that it'll mine all that gigantic area. See that gigantic area? It will keep 25 chunks loaded. Uh, it's a 5x5 five five of chunks. You give it power and then apply the ender chest to the top so that anything that it mines will go straight into the ender chest which goes in into the ME system. Really simple. So actually, if I come down here, there should be a bunch of slime balls, but I don't see them. Okay, I got them. There was only two? I find this hard to believe. Okay. I cry every time. Another king slime? What the hell? Two slime balls and the slime battle axe. This does less than my diamond sword, so I probably won't use it, but we have this new quarry set up, and stuff will be coming into the ME system real soon. So we'll just leave that good to go, and hey, pop, throw, up. Welcome back to the stream, dude. I think I'm going to go get the toast that I put in the alloy smelter, so I can eat some food, because I'm pretty hungry. Just throw some of this stuff back into the ME for now. I don't need it. We'll set up the alloy smelters and stuff now. So I got my toast. Toasty warm toast. So by eating toast you get saturation. I explained this in the last video. That yellow number above my XP number, the green one, is um is my saturation. So I'll have seventeen uh, saturation, which means I won't get hungry till that number goes to zero. Just a way to know when you're hungry or not. So you can see it's already mining. Uh, I've already got iron ore. Oh, the iron ore and uh, osmium are from the old quarry because I had broke down the the or those chests that had stuff still in them. And you see, I've already gotten four copper just off the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so that's really good. And if we watch this, you'll see the gravel, the copper, the cobble all coming in. And we'll compress the cobble every now and then, or maybe I'll make a deep storage. Yeah, make a quick deep storage for the uh, cobble. So I'll show you the guys the trick that I do for cobble, which is basically along right here. I'm gonna have a deep storage, and I'm gonna attach a storage bus. So I have to auto craft that as well. So let me just make some patterns. I'm gonna make 16. Really cheap recipe. But while that's doing it, uh, when you search up storage. Boss, let's auto craft those. I think it's just yeah, an interface, sticky piston, and a uh, normal piston, so I can auto craft the interface. When that's finished auto crafting, I can then auto, uh, do the recipe for this. And I already have all the other stuff auto crafted, so it'll literally just auto complete itself. Needs to make one more logic processor. And it's done. It's the way I do most of the stuff. So a storage bus, the reason why I'd want to use a storage bus here, uh, when you storage bus a deep storage, it'll keep th the count of what's in the deep storage without it taking up any of the ME system storage. So in this case, I'm going to be doing cobblestone, and you want to set the priority higher than uh, everything else so that it prioritizes this deep storage instead of going into the ME. So now when you take out the cobble and place it back in, it'll move all nine... Oh, I started putting gravel for some reason. Because I didn't put... A... Okay. Let me first do that. So you prioritize cobblestone 
in here. Take this out, put the cobble, and then let's try this again. When you take out all the cobblestone and throw it back in, instead of going into the ME system, it goes to this. See so how it says 900? That's perfect. Perfect. Now we can put the storage bus in here. So I have a uh, deep storage of cobblestone being stored. So all cobble that comes in from now on will be organized in that deep storage, which very soon I'm going to end up changing it to stone because when I do my ender quarries, I always apply uh, a silk touch to my ender quarries because I prefer everything silk touched. All right, so seg mill. I'll need like 12 or 16 of these. So I'll need 16 basic capacitors, which means I need a lot of gold nuggets. I guess I should just auto craft all this stuff too. Why not? Wow, I'm bad. Okay. Capacitor, gold nugget. Let's auto craft. Pattern. So yeah, I have 15 blank patterns to work with, and I'll make another interface while that while I'm auto crafting this stuff. What? That was instant. Okay. Uh, let's work on sag mill auto craft. You guys will see how this starts to come in handy. So auto craft gold nuggets. You have to literally auto craft everything in a recipe unless you just have a large quantity of it. Like the rest of the stuff I have a large quantity of, just that stuff I don't. Uh, iron bars, you want to auto craft that. Machine chassis, and this stuff I already have auto crafted. So if I already have a, I don't. If I have a machine chassis, which I do, now I can auto craft the whole thing. And now I could just tell it to make 15 sag mills and it'll be good to go. I can't remember how the channels work, but I'm pretty sure it's like one molecular assembler takes up a channel. No, it's the interfaces. So I've taken up three, four, five channels, six channels on that line. I'll have to change it to um, a deep, dense cable real soon. Okay, so now... Now, I could auto-craft all the sag mills. So, for example, you can auto-craft 12. So it tells you all the stuff you need, it'll do it automatically, and ba-boom, it's just crafting it right now. So yeah, this is 12 auto-crafted sag mills. It's a little bit easier than, obviously, crafting it yourself. And if I ever need more, then I can just auto craft them. So now you want, I'm going to do the same thing with alloy smelters. And I bet some of this stuff's going to overlap. So yeah, another machine chassis, cauldron. The other component is furnaces. So it can actually access that deep storage of cobble. So I'll have the cobble for the furnaces. I'll have it auto craft the, uh, the machine chassis so that I can then set up the recipe for the alloy smelter. Alloy smelter. Shift click. Oh. Uh, I still need to make a furnace and a cauldron. You need to actually have this stuff to set up the recipe, that's why I have to do it. But now I can tell it to make 12 alloy smelters. Real easy. Real easy and yeah, yeah. That's one. You can actually watch the crafting if you wanted. So though it's making furnaces right now, it needs another 20, no, six more, three, two, and then it'll just start crafting it all. Oh, and the gold nuggets. Ta-da. The thing holding it back now is the machine chassis. So as it's making each alloy smelter, it makes the machine chassis. Only two more. So easy. And we can actually speed that up later. Um, like, will you make me a sandwich? No. Uh, if you make multiple molecular assemblers and coprocessor units, it'll t use more than one of these chambers to craft the stuff. And if you add um, accelerating cards and accelerating cards, it'll speed it all up. 
Okay, so now I need another. I think I'm gonna move this again. I can't just add in a good place for it. I guess over here is fun. So now time to set up the auto processing that I've planned for this episode. So I'm gonna need cable, ME cable. I'm gonna probably need more, so I'm gonna have it auto crafted. Which needs quartz fiber. Let's actually redo that with normal glass. Oh, I don't have any, so sand. Let's redo this with normal glass. Cable. Quartz fiber, autocraft, and let's do prioritize normal flux, not the uh, pure. Because pure is used for like specific stuff that takes extra processing. So we'd rather just use the cheap one. Time to auto craft some cable. Let's make 16. Easy peasy. And I already have a bunch of glass now, too. And then I need two more storage buses. So, of course, now I can auto craft that, which comes in handy. Pretty sure you guys see why I auto craft everything now. And I'll need two chests. So for this, I'm going to use, I guess, iron chest, because that's the best I have right now. We're going to set up the station for this. So under here is where I'm going to cable it. Not sure exactly. Let me just... Check the F7. I don't want mob spawning. Okay. Let's see. Do I have my storage buses? Okay. Here we go. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to have the storage bus and then the chest. So this chest is where the ores are going to prioritize to. And this is for the seg mill. Mm -hmm. hmm. We're gonna have it item conduit throughout, which would be easy, or I could do the thermal dynamic servos. I think the servos are okay for now, so let's do item duct. need to make some. Wow. That's fluid duct. Impulse. I don't think that's going to be useful right now. So I need the fluctuating item duct, which is just an item duct. I'll make 24, which means I need 48 redstone for this. So we'll have it from there, and then I need the servo. I'm going to use the, just the, thought I had extra enderium. How about signalum? I guess I should just make the enderium save myself a lot of time. So shiny. Silver. Tin. Easy fix. Okay, so how this is going to work is I'll have, I guess, from here is where the power will come in, from over there. I'll have the item duct in the middle, 
And then the sag mills on every side. Something like this. I could already organize the uh, ore to go there. The ore that's coming in from the uh, current quarry. So this uh, works is you just enter all the stuff that you want to prioritize to this chest and it'll get processed by the system that I'm making over here. Lot of Enderium base, then I need to make Pyrothium and use Ender Pearls. I don't know how much I actually need for this. But yeah, this will make Enderium. Whee! Enderium! Alright. So all I need is two. Should be done any second. And there we go, now I can make the servo. I was making a bunch of Enderium, so I don't have to make it for a while. a two resident servo and I should have my duck uh, my item ducks so I made the fluctuating one which transfers items and power because I want to be able to provide power to this which should be real nice real nice I'll tell ya And then the last one, it doesn't match. Okay, that's fine. And then I need to run the power cable underneath, which I'll need a redstone energy conduit for. Red, redstone energy flux duct. My bad, my bad. So this was the plan for this. Unconnect it. So now, this will be be providing power and moving items. So to do that, you need to add the servo to this side to pull out of this chest. And you have to set it on with the redstone. Ta-da! So now these will get inserted items and I already start cooking them. The only thing it's missing now, obviously, is um, how the, where the items go. So I need to set that up. Which in this case, it's going to be um, another ender chest. And I'm going to use item ducts for this. Item conduits. It gets confusing if you don't use item, uh, item conduits for this part. Hmm. I'm just going to set all the um, information for these right now. So yeah, the, this conduit will pull out of these uh, seg mills, and this one will pull out of these seg mills. And then they'll all meet at the middle for the uh, ender chest, which will be right here.
See, I need one more item conduit. Was there any way to make it so I could reach it? <laughs> Damn. Well, I could just do this, take one seg mill off since it doesn't match anyways. Symmetrical, boys. Gotta be symmetrical. I think it, I think it looks better if it's symmetrical. Okay. So yeah, if I did this right, these should auto output without even changing these item conduit settings. Uh, so I'll have to do the same here. You'll see it immediately, yeah. And then there's no backup of like the conduit um, only transferring for a tick or whatever because it's coming out of the system faster. It doesn't matter. It just ignores what the what the sag mill wants to do. So yeah, auto sag mills fully set up. Ta-da! Just to make sure it's working perfect, come back to the system, pulverized, and GG. That's the sag mills all set up. So the next one is the same system, but now with um, alloy smelters. That's a lot of endearing. I think I want to put in some iron and ender pearls to make the item conduits. Oh wait, I have enough to make some item conduits. Ta -da. It's definitely not enough, but I can start this. So I'm going to do the same thing right here with the um, with the other thing, the alloy smelters now. So I'm going to connect this with a cable. Put the storage bus. On that storage bus is going to be all the uh, pulverized stuff. So tin, iron, copper. Golden ferrous for now. There's obviously more stuff that I'll need to alloy smelt, but for now, let's we'll keep it simple. I think that's all five. Prioritize this higher, and then set up the chest. So this chest would get all the pulverized stuff that comes in. You then do the same thing with the fluctuating con uh, item ducts that I did for the sag mills over here. Tear out the bottom so we can connect the power cable. Okay. Alloy smelters. Let's set this part up. So we'll start this out with alloy smelters. And I'll just keep the extra one just like I did for the uh, Sagma. Okay. So now whatever comes in here will go into this. And I just need to set up the servo and it'll move the stuff into the, into the alloy smelters. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now we have to worry about the output. So I have to make the item, con item conduits connect to the ender chest again. You have to set them all to output. Blue is input, orange is output. I'll need to do the same thing down here. Uh, 
Uh, I need one more ender chest, so I need to craft that. And do I have enough of the item conduit without having to make more? Nope. Nope. What a shame. Wow. Uh, what I could do is actually move this. Since this is the same ender chest, uh, I can move it down one. Save this extra item conduit. And just connect it here. And that'll go into the same ender chest. Which is perfectly fine. There's no way for that to mess up currently. Okay, so now that system is done. We've completed the auto processing. So you'll see the ores, they're all processed except for uranium because it's a messed up ore and won't let me sag mill it. And then all the pulverized stuff, uh, the only thing missing is this. So you throw it back in the system, it gets put in the chest, which gets alloy smelted immediately. Then the last thing is you check dust because dust, for some reason, things are named dust. So you need to input this into the uh, actual storage bus as an item to obviously process. Go check the system. Still 48, so you throw it back in, gets taken out, and you need aluminum as well, uh, and cyanide. And kaboom. Easy peasy, and all my stuff is auto-processed. Now I'll obviously work on the ender chest, I mean the uh, ender quarry, so I have stuff coming in at a quicker pace. So before I set up or I make an ender quarry, I'll need a QED. I don't need to auto craft this because you only need one. All I have is a crafting table, so I'll make the eye of enders, which needs blaze rods. Make an easy three stacks. QED, two eye of ender. Uh, ender infused obsidian. It's pretty easy to make. So I'll make I'll make actually a few more. Normally I I can easily use like a stack of it and still need more. Uh, you need to burn quartz in this, so you get quartz. You make blocks of it and then uh, smelt it in a furnace. You need to make sure it's on furnace mode though. Because you can easily waste your cords. I'm going to actually do um, 16 of them. Because I always have to end up burning more. So you change this to furnace mode only. You put, then put... Oh my god. You put in the, the cords. And hope the sand doesn't enter. Okay. There we go. So easy burnt cords. Also a bunch of Enderium, so I could actually make another Tesseract, that'll be important. I'll just do it right now. So a completed Tesseract. All I'm missing is Fused Quartz, so I'll just take a stack of Quartz. And... All smelting, put the Quartz here. That should be fine. Um, I, could, I should be able to make the QED now. Ta-da, ta-da. So, simple thing about the QED. I'm gonna put it over here, because I won't need it very much. But um, normally, I'll show you how people normally think they need it. Ender flux crystals. For a QED, it needs ender flux crystals to provide it power. So, you need a few of these. I'll make eight of them. That's how I normally do it. And most people think you need to put, like one on each side of it, one space apart, but you can actually put it all on one side so it keeps it organized. You can also have it uh, just a pillar, which is how I do it to save space. So I just do a eight block pillar into the air of just the Enderflux crystals, and it actually makes this really cool animation when you, uh, when you charge it up or speed it up or use it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take six ender infused obsidian and three ender pearls this will make me three ender markers this is like the landmarks for the quarries but they're ender markers mm. so what i wanted to show you 
was this cool animation. So the ender particles, they go all the way from up there. Really cool animation. And yeah, it's basically, if you had one of these, to be really, really slow. This is eight times the speed of one, obviously, because there's eight of them. You can imagine how slow that would be, actually. Since it took its time making one. Okay, so now, I'll need the ender quarry. Hmm. So, for an ender quarry, you always need uh, this thing called magical wood. Which can get expensive to get, um, what the hell? I didn't even know there was a book of absorption. Do I have any enchanted books in here? No, but I should actually have some over here. Two enchanted books. What the hell? Okay. We're going to make two flim flam books and see what uh, level I can get. It's a pretty interesting thing about these, uh, so they're called ender cores, and they take magical wood, which normally one of the ways to get magical wood is by putting liquid XP, 8,000 liquid XP on, uh, on a bookshelf, but I found that using the enchanted book recipe is actually better. So you can make an enchanted book with flim flam one for, uh, an ender pearl, I mean an emerald, and this is like the best way to get it. So you make those, you get your, your enchanted books. Okay, and then you go make that recipe. So it's a bookshelf. Bookshelf is uh, three books in the middle with wood around it. Okay, then you put the four books around that and gold in the corners. And you'll see instead of just getting one magical wood, this is why it's better. I'll get multiple. I'll get 13 magical wood out of that one recipe. So now I can make multiple ender quarries for the price of those four books. Because this is usually the hardest part about it. So I'm going to actually just make like a stack of freaking eye of enders because I have to keep crafting those. Okay, so I'll make two ender cores. Easy peasy. Another ender etched... Wait, what? I never put the rest in? Okay. Oh my god. And their quarry. This is the other ender etched. Um, qua computational matrix. Ender infused obsidian. I have saplings. Diamond pick. And the last thing is two endothermic pumps. Endothermic pumps are what you can use to remotely um, gather lava or any liquid with uh, with power and a tank. Okay, stick. Wood. Wood. Okay, so now I can make the endothermic pump. Which hopefully is all I need. <laughs> I wonder if I'm missing the water buckets. That would be a yes. So I'm going to make four new buckets. Okay, two will be for water and two will be for lava. To get the lava, I think I'm just going to make a quick lava fab. Lava fabri fabri fabricator. Did I make one yet? Alright, I didn't make one. What was I missing? So the, probably the magma creams. That's usually what you miss from that. Uh, the plastic sheets I can just make. And then I'll need more plastic sheets for the factory machine block. Okay. Easy, easy as pie. So how this works is it uses power to make lava. Okay. So yeah, see how it has lava? You wait for it to fill back up using, as to have an idle time of 200 ticks, which is 10 seconds, and then it starts producing lava for power again. 
There we go. It's just like that. I have lava. And then I'll go get my water from the ocean. The ocean. And now I'll be able to make the Ender Quarry. Ender Quarry hype! Hype poo! I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. What? Oh, yeah. Two Ender Quarries. Which is the Ender. or Ender Thermic Pumps, which is the Ender Quarry! Now I need this. It's never finished. So we'll take four of those, and a burnt quartz, to go make myself one of those core things, which I'll upgrade to be Silk Touch. Koala, welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome back. If you guys missed the beginning of the stream, you guys can catch it on YouTube after, but uh, we'll be streaming for another good hour and, hour and 15 minutes, so we'll get a lot of stuff done today. A lot of great progress. Obviously, you can see that we've been getting a lot done. It's like Skyblock. Imagine if Mechanism was in Skyblock. <laughs> OP. Oh my god. Oh my god, the Enderium. Why is there glass in here? Am I retarded? I was going to recook the glass, guys. Okay, and then to make the silk touch um, enchantment for the ender quarry base, I'm going to use the best thing you guys have ever seen. In this pack, Karma, there's this thing called an advanced enchantment table. So it's this recipe right here. I'm missing the enchanting table. Somehow that's the first one I've ever made in this pack and a book and quill which is an ink sack somehow i don't have a single ink sack what 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 how do i not have ink sacks okay normally when you when i run quarries in the ocean i normally get a ton of ink sacks into the uh quarry and it picks it up I'm not sure why. I guess there's no um, there's no actual squids that I've seen, surprisingly. Yeah, I see. what the heck? Why are there no squids? I'm gonna try checking like ri the rivers instead. See if that's how somehow better. This pack doesn't have squids. What is this? There's ink sacks, but. Okay, we found squids. I was freaking out for nothing. We Gucci. Thank you. Ink sack, please. I wish I could milk an ink for its ink sack. Or drain it. Drain it. That that makes more sense. That guy's infernal. That guy's infernal. Oh, thanks. Oh, there was my enchantment table. I don't need it anyways. Do, 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 do. So I should have enough levels for this. Should be okay. Since I'm level 37, I better have enough. Okay, so Ender Quarry. Oh yeah, I need the enchantment table. That's what all this was for. So it's the advanced enchantment table, which takes a book and quill, and then kaboom. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to set up an area for this, so I think I'm going to do it on top of the, um, the spawner, just because it's nice and easy. Then I need a gold pickaxe. And I'll enchant it. But first, before that, I should get a tank. Not that tank. Well, how much is it to make one of these? That's pretty cheap. 
Let's do it. Wait, what the hell? Hardened, reinforced. Oh, okay, I do. Okay. And then resonant. Resonant. It's like, why'd my shift click not work? And then I need one tank open block. Which it makes two, which is fine. So I'll do that. Uh, it made six because I shift clicked it because I'm stupid. Alright. Oh, and I need an XP drain. XP drain. Really easy to make, just nine iron bars. I'll put this in the corner. In the corner. So this should work. There we go. Yeah, so I'm draining my XP into that tank, and then I can output from that tank to the other tank with a Crescent Hammer. So this is like the buffer for the actual tank. The reason I did this tank is because it should be able to output at a really high rate of transfer from this one to the, the actual tank. For some reason, it doesn't have a value of how much is in there, but it's okay. Crescent... So I now want to do this and see. So that was what? That's 28,000 liquid. So I'll take the exact amount for how much I need to make this silk touch. So I need fi 15 bookcases, but I won't need that many because actually for this, you can also use the magical wood. So I'll use the magical wood. I'm gonna place it the way I think will look the best in the four corners and let's see if I can enchant it now what not enough levels how many levels was that 15 okay so I'll take 15 levels back from my drain my, uh, from my tank real easy and to enchant it you put the other thing you want and then click E and enchanted it with uh, 15 levels and silk touch. Really easy way to get the exact enchant you want. So there we go. Now some of the last steps I need to do this quarry is the tesseract. Uh, we need to fill it with ender pearls. Ah, uh, what the hell? I guess making those um, fluctuating things took a lot less uh, ender pearls than I thought. I mean, a lot less redstone than I thought. So I'm actually going to have to add a bunch of stuff to the sag mill uh, storage bus. Because I think that there's going to be like coal, redstone, diamonds, all this stuff that I still need to sag mill. That I'll have to add to that. But yeah, we already have 10,000 cobble. Ooh. I was running a separate quarry, a normal quarry. And I need another ender chest, as always. And we'll need cobble. So where should I set this up? <laughs> should I do this as one of the gigantic ones? Like down there? Let's see here. Because like, right now, what I've quarried is all of this. All the way out there. So if I if I set up another quarry, but make this one gigantic out this way, I could do that. I could do that. And it'd be pretty easy. 
I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so the ender marker would go here, set up the ender quarry here, set up the suck touch here, set up the tesseract here, give it power, and okay. This will say it doesn't have a defense yet, which, or the ender marker connection. Uh, I believe I'm gonna. Let's see here. <laughs> so this should be the exact coordinate that I'm at. That's good. And then to go out this way, it goes down in numbers. So I'm gonna negative 2372.5 should be the height so 65 is the height I'm gonna build up to that why the hell was I taking damage oh yeah cuz I'm stupid and I freaking teleported into the middle of the <laughs> okay. I didn't think of that happening Ta-da! <laughs> Whoops, that was not well thought about. Now what about this way? It goes up in numbers into the negatives. So I'm going to actually wait till some of my hunger comes back, because I almost just killed myself. I mean, not my hunger, but my uh, health. I don't feel like loading 2,000 blocks worth of chunks just to set up the quarry, so teleporting doesn't really affect much other than just keeping it keeping me from lagging so you can see that this is connected with this ender uh, particle that's happening it's showing it's connected to the one down there and then I need to teleport this way so I'll go out 2000 aha and this one's just in the ocean perfect Damn, the bottom of the ocean here is really low. Alright, boom. And it's already connected. I think it's fair to not check these, uh, these places. And I'm just going to go back. So when you're finished setting up the ender markers, you'll have this particle showing like a box. This is the corner. And the ender, mark, the ender core is on the edge. So you click it, it tells you that it's fully established, and now it's telling you how many blocks it mines. So yeah, stone. Stone is coming in like crazy now. Another king slime. Not another one. It's up there. Should I try killing it with no weapon? No good weapon? I could actually set up the speed upgrades. I'll figure out how much power I'm using and how much power... Oh, that thing. They're both infernal. Why is there two? That's just stupid. You're stupid. No, I'm not. All right. Uh, I think now I'm going to change out this deep storage to, um, to stone. Oh, great. So I'm shift space clicking to get the uh, all the cobble out. It's a really quick way of removing cobble. New to this, uh, what does Inferno mean? Uh, it said Infernal. So Infernal mobs basically have special effects, such as like one could be Storm, which means if you get near it, it'll shoot lightning at you, and you'll catch on fire, and it'll do a lot of damage. 
Other ones could have like ghastly, so every time uh, you get near it, it'll start shooting gas fireballs at you. Like it, it's pretty retarded the stuff that these can do. So hope that helps explain what I'm trying to talk about. So you basically, when you see an infernal mob, you could be so decked out, and these things can still kill you because there's weird effects that could really mess you up badly. Um, all right. So now to check out what I'm missing. I have ore, yellow right ore coming in, and I haven't added yellow right to the uh, segmill chest yet. And the segmill chest is perfectly amazing. Perfectly amazing. And you can check out the segmills to see how deep it is. Like, it's not even touching the first row of segmills. It's really good. Segmills are a way to double your ore, kind of like a smeltery, but it pulverizes it, and then you still have to alloy smelt it. So, you, like, you get dust or... Uh, pulverized stuff. So in this case, the yellow right's turning into yellowium dust, and you have to alloy smelt it like a furnace. And storage buses, anytime one of these things comes into the system, it has a higher priority, so instead of going into the, into the ME storage, it goes into this chest and gets instantly entered into alloy smelting. It's really cool. So, yeah. 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 Let's compress some cobblestone. Cause I don't want my system being taken up by just cobblestone. Wow, it's a lot of cobble. Easy peasy. Okay, and like you can see, my storage is really good right now. I'm gonna make some extra ME drive, uh, so I'm gonna auto craft it actually. So I need an engineering processor. Is it, you're actually like completely new to this? So like ME system and all this auto auto stuff that I'm doing probably it's a little bit weird to you. One ME drive, please. So I just literally told it to make me an ME drive and my system is automatically creating one. You can actually see it being done in here. Oh it's it's already oh no it's not. So yeah, watch. It'll craft it in here. Oh, the ME drive. It was created. And I can add it to my system. There we go. And then I can also tell it to make me four of the 4K, or 10 of the 4K storages. So it's telling me I'm missing silicon and certus quartz dust. So I need more of those two. You see how it tells you what you need to make it? So yeah, I'm missing a couple things. So to get more of that, I need to take my clay, turn the clay into the clay blocks, and you have a 80% chance of getting two silicon every time you uh, seg mill the clay. See how I'm getting silicon and I needed it? It's perfect. There we go. Let's take out the these. I don't need any more of that in there. Let's see how much silicon I got. 26. I need a bit more. So we'll turn the clay back into clay blocks again. It's like pretty cheaty because you just get to keep putting it back in and losing some clay but getting si silicon. And the other thing I needed was to break down certus quartz into the dust. So I have all the silicon I need. Now I just need the surface quartz dust. And uh, this thing I made over here is a deep storage unit. It can store two billion of a single item. So in this case, I'm doing stone because of how much stone I'm going to be getting into the system. And there's nothing you can do to compress stone. You know how I did the cobble like this and I compressed it to compressed? Uh, you can't do that with stone. So it's better just to store the stone in the deep storage since I'm not going to be using it for anything. I might use it eventually, like if you sag mill stone, you get cobblestone, and if you sag mill the cobblestone, you get sand, and I, or gravel, sorry, you get gravel. No, you get sand, and you can use the sand to make glass, which is what I normally do, because I've done that before. So I should have all the surface quartz dust I need, and I can now craft 10 4Ks. So imagine 40,000 bytes of data being able to be stored in my ME system. Because everything that goes into your ME system turns into like matter 
and and uh, bytes, so you can store it like a like a computer. It's really cool. But yeah, this tells you what you need. It needs to make 29 logic processors and 10 calculation processors. So this system that I created here is automatically gonna make them. And then when they're done, they get automatically exported back to this interface, which is basically my ME system. You can actually see it come in here. You'll see it get entered and then that goes back into the system. I bet I already have one. No, not yet. Cool. Now, while this is doing that, I want to make another upgrade for my Ender Quarry. So, Ender Quarry, you can do this speed one upgrade, which actually speeds it up quite a lot. But before I do that, I need to check if I have the power for it. Let me check. If all of these don't have an energy buffer, then I actually shouldn't make a speed upgrade, because it won't matter. Alright, well, that's a shame. My my wind turbines, though, how much power am I creating? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 times 156. How much power is that? Hmm, I need to do the calculator, the calculator. 156. 2,808. Yeah, my system's probably actually using, like, legitimately all of that, so I could make a bit more. I have this, I could speed, or i do more wind turbines, and that would be a good idea. Let's see if I can just craft any. Nope, I need to make these. How many can I make? One. So to make more of the wind turbines, you need to take iron and redstone. You combine it in this metallurgic infuser, take some time and some power, and it makes the enriched alloy. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if I can input with normal chests and see if that works. Let's see here. Change this to blue. Or does it need a conduit? Auto eject. Aha! And then this, I want it to be the red one. So that would be the front. Will that work? Nope. I'll need a uh, item conduit if I was gonna do that. Which I don't have. I can make more, but it's okay. At least it's auto outputting to the chest up here. So I can already make more wind turbines probably. The only thing I'm probably missing, if anything, is the circuits, which I'm actually good. So I can make 10 wind turbines. Wind turbines are crazy, crazy OP. So I'm gonna need to make 19 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And then I now can make ten wind turbines. Ta da! So now I'll add them to the system which is this amazing line of just wind turbines and cable. Uh, let's get more of my redstone energy flux duct. I'll need at least a few more. A few more. Crappy. I, the green spot on the front has to touch the cable. You see how they're connecting? Yeah. So now you can actually check these. So this part right here that's fluctuating is the buffer. You can see that it's 154 and the total is 80,000. So if the buffer's not building up, that means I'm using more power than I'm creating right now, which is understandable because this alone is taking a lot of power. So the buffer's filled up on that. Are any of these buffers filling up? 
Holy. Oh, there might be a thing where the ender quarry that I'm using has the 10 million buffer and it's still filling up. That could be a thing. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Hmm. Doesn't hurt to have more power, though. Maybe a little, but... How much redstone is left? A hundred. All right. It's probably like one of the cheapest powers in the game. <laughs> so dumb. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually take this out for now and add the osmium. Because the only thing stopping me from making more is having these circuits. Okay, so I have my 10 4K ME storage cells now. So I'll add them to my storage, and I now have a lot of storage. Because now I have uh, 19 of the 4Ks. Which is, obviously, if I can hold this much stuff and I just added those 10, it's crazy. Crazy storage. Crazy. You're crazy. No, I'm not. Let's make two ME interfaces. Mm -hmm. I only need one, but it makes two in the crafting recipe. With the resources it makes. What's this? Explodes when interacting with entities. No, thank you. Causes lightning when interacting with entities. Imagine having those two together. Explosions and and lightning. Alright. So here we go. We have now a f fourth ME interface on this one molecular assembler. It's kind of ridiculous. But this is where I'm going to make the auto crafting for wind turbines. So how this works is you want to auto craft the recipe for the energy tablets. And then you have to make an energy tablet and use that in the recipe for the wind turbine. Really easy. But now I can auto craft wind turbines. Here we go. How many should I make? Let's do. Oh yeah, I, I can't without getting the other circuits. Alrighty, let's uh, put them in the system, and now wind turbine. How many can I make? Let's try 50. So I'm missing... Okay, let's try 20 then. Ta-da! So we can actually watch the crafting over here. So it's making all the energy tablets. You can see them being created. By food, I'm... Uh, by food, I'm going to leave soon because school. Okay. Well, if uh, if you want to catch the rest of it, I'm uh, currently an hour and 13 minutes into the stream. So if uh, right after the stream ends, uh, at the two hour mark, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. And you can actually watch it from the part that you left right now, which is an hour and 13 minutes in. And you can catch up on the stuff you missed, if that's what you want to do. That's purely just for my viewers, if they want to catch up on stuff they missed. Um, I'm not going to, like, obviously get rich off of you. It's more, like, to, for the viewers. So, yeah, just so you know that I'm going to upload this to my YouTube. My YouTube is youtube.com slash thegamereport1. And I upload League of Legends and the Minecraft streams that I do. Okay, okay, oh man, the stuff I need to add to the sag mill stuff, wow. Wow. But yeah, uh, thank you for coming to the stream, man, and uh, I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Th thanks again. I enjoyed your company, man. Nice. Nice. Oh, Ferris. Should I make it auto do Ferris as well? Yeah, we'll do it. See ya, pop, uh, pop throw. Oh, you were saying bye to him. Okay, see ya, Koala, and I'll see you in the next stream tomorrow, man. So now there should be more stuff I have to do in here. Oh, that should be. There we go. And pulverized. 
I have to add these also to the um, sag uh, the alloy smelter now. Have to make sure they're processed. <clears throat> but yeah, there's this grease guy that I can't uh, stream for his time because when I'm streaming now, it's like two in the morning for him, which I feel bad about. But not much I could do about that other than streaming in the morning, and then like, what if I'm not up in the morning, etc. So. Yeah, it's the best of both worlds for this. Um, What was I making? Oh yeah, the wind turbines. So those should be created. I should have 20 more wind turbines. Perfect. Holy damn, my power just went through the roof. I should have more power than I even need for now. How many more cable? Let's actually count. I have five, nine, so four, five more. Three, done. I don't want to waste cable for now. No point. And I guess what I'm going to do is actually just have um, separate cables for 9,000 uh, or 8,000 power on each one of these separate cables. And uh, it should never, I'll sh I should never reach a limit then. So I don't know how many I currently have, but I made, I had 18, I made another 10, and then I made another 20. So I have, what, another 30? So I have probably like 6, 7k power per tick. So now if I check, these wind, wind turbines at the back shouldn't even be getting touched. You see how they have a buffer of 80,000? Yeah, so I have, I have a hell of a lot of extra power. So now the plan is to make the upgrade for my quarry, which is the speed one. So I need a diamond pick, and I need to go get efficiency one. Really, it should be quite easy and cheap to do with the advanced enchantment table that I have. So efficiency one, it's 11 levels. Wow. Easy. And I'm done. Enchant. Perfect. I'm going to also charge my jetpack while I'm here. Can I charge it in this? Would that work? Oh, yeah, it would probably be useful for it to have a buffer like that. It's not that fast. That is not that fast. I could just use this. And then, yeah, it doesn't go down at all because it's instantly getting 2,000 power back into it at the same time as it's going down. Okay, cool. For this, you also need the uh, Ender Quarry base thing again. So I need four more of the Ender Infused Obsidian and another Burnt Quartz. This is why I made so much Burnt Quartz in the beginning. Should I just go straight for the next upgrade? Probably. This is the uh, speed one. Might as well go for the next upgrade. And have my system back up, it'll be fine. <laughs> and easy peasy. Ender Quarry. So this is an efficiency three. So we'll do this all over again. And we'll enchant this with a efficiency three upgrade. How many levels do I need for efficiency three? 29. Why is that so expensive? It seems like a lot. I need a way to get experience in the next uh, in the next thing I do. So efficiency three, that's good. That's the Ender Quarry upgrade. I don't actually have a way of getting XP this time. 
yet. I need redstone blocks. Kaboom! Speed 2 upgrade for the Ender Quarry. Holy. Let's actually just use the teleporter. I don't want to jump down. Follow me. Um, no, thank you, man. Sorry, but if you're going to come to my stream and spam about your stuff, you can take take your, your shit and get the fuck out. But, uh, yeah, no, seriously, though, that's pretty retarded, man. Uh, thanks for coming to the stream. I'm sure you'll find one that you enjoy more. Uh, clearly you don't enjoy mine, so take it easy and uh, good luck finding a stream you enjoy much more. So you saw how fast the stuff comes in now, and when I add the speed upgrade, clearly it comes in a lot quicker. I wonder if I'm producing enough power for the speed 2 upgrade. So now I'm going to spend some time upgrading the sag mills and alloy smelters so that I can keep up to, um, can keep up with the input. Because if you look, you'll see this starts to back up. And all the sag mills are filled with stuff because there's actually a lot of stuff coming in. So now I need to make the capacitors and I'll need 11, uh, actually 44. I need 44 of these. And then I need, whoops, what's in here? No, it's making all the gold nuggets, it's really slow. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I'll make, I'll auto craft all the capacitors actually. So capacitor, next one. Click, and this one. How much glowstone do I have? Should be enough. Need 22. Wait, what the hell's happened to my glowstone? Oh, it takes out from the system. For the recipe from a pattern terminal. Okay. So now I'll make 22 of these, which will make uh, the 11 of these. And it's just for the sag mill. So yeah, you see how it starts to back up? This is without the um, the sag mill sped up yet. We'll see how well it handles it once they're sped up. I wonder if I'll have enough power for that. I don't think I'll have enough. But we'll see. And is this just backing up? No. Alright, so capacitor, I have 11, that's exactly what I need. Kaboom. Kaboom, kaboom. And the way to know if I'm producing enough power for these or not, the power is going up, which means I am. So now we'll see if this is backing up or not. Barely. We'll keep an eye on this and see if it's going down or up and stuff. This one should now be backing up because the shit's not sped up in the alloy smelters. So I'll try to make another 11. I'm missing energetic alloys, and that's all. So to make the energetic alloy, you take glowstone, radstone, and gold, and combine that in an alloy smelter, which I have right here.
Easy busy. I'm actually gonna get this to be the exact amount of stuff to make endurium. So, endurium. Let's look at the recipe. It's two endurium base, two enderpearl, and a pyrothium. So if I have 66 endurium base, I would need 66 enderpearls and 33 um, pyrothium. And now I will be left with no extra inside that chest. Let's take my sand, make more glass, since I want it to work on stuff when I close this. Um, let's check if I'm missing any ores from the auto thing. Nope. I want the draconium, that's good, and I actually want to take my draconium dust, combine it with iron to make the draconic blend. That I can use to make the furnace, and I'll do that after. Cool. We will continue to compress this damn cobblestone that's coming from the other quarry. And now to keep up with what I was checking. So this chest is perfect and it's not backing up. That's absolutely amazing. And then this one is not backing up either, but there's like stacks of stuff in each one. So I should add the upgrade, which takes the energetic outlay. I still need a bit more. How much did I, how much was I missing? Let me try making that again. So I need 11. Oh, I have enough craft should be pretty quick to craft it has to make the 44 first capacitor which makes the middle one and then yeah we can actually watch the progress of it over here so it's making all the normal capacitor and it's making one of the big capacitor at a time wow it's already done three four <laughs> just watch what a speed upgrade does to this so instead of it being really slow, just look at how fast that speeds up. C -c -c crazy. It's pretty nuts how how good this octatic capacitor is for the alloy smelters and seg mills. I think I need one more, don't I? Oh no, that's all. We Gucci. So again, to check, the power is going up in these, meaning I'm producing more power than I need. So this is great. And then we can see the stuff coming in. All the stuff's being auto-processed. I have my ender quarry, and I am very happy with this. Very, very happy. <laughs> I actually want to take this out. I want to... What the hell? Can I not cook that? Okay. Not sure why it prioritized the sand over anything else. That is damn weird. Can I make my draconic chest? Let's check. That is expensive. One, two. One, two. One, two. The difference between a diamond chest and an obsidian chest is the obsidian chest is actually protected from explosions. If you didn't know that. So the draconic chest takes power to store shit, but like the, the amount of stuff it stores and power is kind of crazy. It's a 10 million energy storage. And as well, it can cook stuff, so you can actually cook 
the draconic, um, I think it's what, ore? Or is it the blend? Okay, yeah, it's the blend. So, now whenever I make, um, the draconic blend, you can, um, cook it in there and you get an increased amount of the draconic dust or, uh, ingot, <clears throat> ingots, which you actually need a lot of it. So, yeah. Let's, um, do this draconic core, or I would need fortune three to get a good amount out of it. But we can leave the chest for now. It's perfectly fine uh, where it is. And stuff coming in is great. I think I should figure out how would I do XP in this? Hmm. What time is it? 9 a.m. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go down here, and I'm going to go figure out some XP. I'm going to look in the old quarries and see if I can see any berry bushes, XP berry bushes. So those are ore berries, the ones for uh, getting, like, aluminum nuggets. What's down here? I don't see any berries. And the current quarry is working, working away. So those are again ore berries. So I wonder if that XP berry bush is in this. Let's see what berries are in this. Right here. That's the essence berry bush. I wonder if I can find any. Uh, that's interesting. That's a darn shame. I tell you, darn shame. What I could do is make a separate mob grinder for XP. That would be pretty easy. I should do that. Like right beside this one. And instead of a um, grinder, I set it up with iron spikes. And uh, I take one of those spawners that's right over there with a diamond dolly. And have it die to like gold spikes or something. Wait, what? Spikes aren't in this? Oh, they're right here. Golden spike. It takes magical wood. I think I only want golden spikes. I don't want any items from this. So, yeah, I'm going to make some more magical wood again. So, enchanted book. Uh, to make enchanted books, I'm going to do the same thing with the flim flam. The flim flam. The flimmy, the flimmy. One, two, three, four. This will probably be the last thing I do before I end the stream. Um, and probably make a lot of drums for the storage of this. Because drums are pretty cheap. They're just iron. We'll auto-craft that as well. Just so I don't have to make a bunch. Um, okay, so I have that. I need a bookshelf. Again. Wood. You have to make an actual vanilla bookshelf for this. If you made it with... How did I only get the achievement now? I... Okay, if you don't make a vanilla bookshelf, it'll actually screw up, and it won't work with one of the, like, different woods that you can get from modded, because they're not compatible. So it has to be a vanilla bookshelf. There we go, there's my 17 magical wood, so golden spike. How many does this make? So I need a gold block, and some golden swords. Kaboom, golden spikes. So I have that, I have that. Uh, let's get Cursed Earth. That's what I'm going to use to kill them, and, or I mean to spawn it off of the spawner. Should I actually get more than one spawner? Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, let's get another, I, may, I need to make another diamond dollar. Okay, I'll make the room after I get the spawners. So 
So we'll just grab a couple zombies. Easy way. Easy peasy. I guess I'm going to use normal cobble for this again. Where, uh, that I chisel. So let's get my chisel out. Let's get some cobble. And uh, I guess we'll chisel it. I'll use my builder's wand as well. My OP. My OP builder's wand. I stupid. Shouldn't let you select the same one that it is at the moment. I guess it would be kind of hard to code. But be pretty cool. Um, builder's... Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to need is actually a vacuum hopper, which I can set up later. Okay, so let's do the conveyor belts. So one, two, three, and here's going to be the center. Which is kind of crappy that I put this right here. It's fine. So actually this part should be the golden spikes. I'm only going to use three for this. Oh yeah, you need a bottom to place them on. It's the only way to actually get them to sit flat. Yeah, uh, we'll have the conveyor belt actually aim towards the golden spike. That would be probably a good idea. Probably. So yeah, golden spikes, uh, they won't drop items. They'll only drop experience. So I can use the vacuum hopper to pick up the experience and put it in the tank. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we'll do the outline for the books, the box, the box. Same design as the first one. With ch which has many misclicks. Should I do the front out of the dark glass again? It's pretty nice. Looks great. Dark. Oh, I already have some. Okay, we'll just use what I have currently, and uh, if I don't have enough, then that sucks. So I don't want. I don't feel like making more. So I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna move this, and put the vacuum hopper there. Okay. So cursed earth that, cursed earth that. I just want to make sure they won't spawn on the freaking roof of the thing. Should be good. Should be fine. Ta -da. Now just to uh, torch up the top. This is my easy to make mob spawner. So the inside. Uh, let's set up the vacuum hopper now and then the part I'll come out of is right here. I'll fly out. So you yeah, have vacuum hopper. Uh, let's make that. Hopper. Don't have one so... Vacuum. Easy peasy. And I also need a drum. At least one. For the start of this. Said I was going to auto craft it, but I didn't. 
Rip. Rip, non auto crafted. So let's do XP this way. Man, that that looks that looks shitty. Oh wait. Yeah, no, there's light being shined in. That's it's pretty shitty that it doesn't hmm. can I do that? Just, oh, maybe that's the torch that was doing it. Well, if I just block it up, it should be okay, but I guess I'll figure it out. Okay, so I could go put in the spawners, and we should be okay. I'll figure out how to make it darker in there if there's a problem. Uh, diamond. Where's the center? Right about about here. Perfect. So let's see if they spawn. If I have any problems, I'll darken up the front. Okay, and just to make a test. As soon as I darken it up, let's see if it spawns. Hmm. Oh yeah, it did spawn. So now to try it out, basically we had it come from there into the tank. Yay! Yay! We did it! Where's my... Wait, did I break my QED or is it inside the damn item vacuum hopper? Vacuum hopper. And it seems to be dropping rotten flesh even though it wasn't supposed to. I thought golden spikes don't drop items. I guess they do. Ender chest. I need an ender chest to input the stuff into the system. Which is a shame, but I was pretty sure it wasn't supposed to. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Ta-da! And now the last thing is making more drums. Let's make ten. Would you five? Five drums. Ten of those pressure plates, and boom. So only way to output it all is uh, I need a fluid duct, item duct, item duct, fluid duct, here we go. I don't want the flux plated one because that'll provide power for no absolute reason. Uh, I just want simple copper fluid ducts and then I need the servos. I don't actually see a point in using the retarded one, but I will. Drum, resonant servo, power, boom. That's how quickly it moved from one to another. So now I should be able to block this up farther and farther as I move it away. So again, I can block it up and less light should be going through and in one more I will have no light going through. Hopefully. Oh, one block of light. What a shame. Oh, yeah. oh wow, I stepped... <laughs> I didn't even see it. I stepped on my TF2 teleporter.
Ta-da! Hey. Simple. So it's spawning pretty well. Um, I already have 1800 liquid XP. That's pretty fast. I must say. Uh, I'm going to keep two extra drums up here. And I'm going to have... I'm going to move this resin portable tank to there. And hopefully... Uh have it output to this for weird sake there we go because yeah then I'll be able to move this up to there and yeah yeah easy all right I have XP XP for days oh my god that that stone Let's see how much ores I have. None and pulverized. I have shiny and dust. All right, so I'm actually, it's working flawlessly. This isn't backing up and that's not backing up and my system is really good. Also just to show off the XP. Uh, maybe I need to use a crescent hammer so I don't break it and lose the liquid inside. So just to show this off, click, and I now have 6,000 in there. This is great. Great farm that I have here. This one gets me Ender Pearls and Blaze. And the other one gets me the OP Liquid XP. I'll just basically keep that one permanently and I'll change this out to like a Bedrockium drum later for experience. Hey, Amberlin. Uh, you're just near the end of the stream. Uh, I was gonna actually end it really soon because there's like not nothing that I really want to dive into right now because I've finished all like the, the simple stuff that I wanted to get done so that I can leave this and ha come back to a lot of resources. Once, yeah, I have done everything. Two hour stream. Uh, I'm putting this up on YouTube right after I finish the stream, and uh, it'll be up for anyone who missed the ending of where we left off. And I'll be streaming tomorrow again uh, at 7 p.m. EST time. Uh, East, EST is Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys really enjoyed the stream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Amberlin. Have a good day.